<laughs> oh shit, my mic was just... I forgot there was no thumbnail on the screen. It's just me. How awkward. I mean, why the fuck is that awkward? I don't know. It just feels awkward because I, like... Like, what makes anything awkward? I mean, technically, I don't know what the denotation of awkward is, but I feel like... When it's when it's something, it's just like uncannily or like you're unused to it. Is that a word? Not used to it? I'm not, I don't know. When you're not used to something, it, it becomes awkward. Like, uh, I don't know, a, a person responding to something in a way that maybe it makes sense, but it just feels strange. That's awkward because it's a little off. Like, it, it still works. It's just, just off. Yeah. Welcome to me going off topic at the beginning of the stream. Now, today we're playing... Supra Mayro Bras, which, you know. Oh wait, no, it's it's Super Mario World. My bad. Now I know Maz is missing, but that's because uh, he's playing Mario is missing. You see, I know that's a terrible joke. Anyways, now he, he's 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 in the shower. He should be out in like any second now. I'm sorry for being late. My bad. It wasn't set up properly for Super Mario World. I didn't realize that. I thought I would just use the same setup to Earthbound, but I had to modify things. Anyways talk too much let's just get started <laughs> i mean i guess i the point of streaming is the talk right well i don't know it's not really a podcast but we're we're we're, we're known for 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 commentary in our streams so not not just silent fucking shit you know Let me get that stream schedule off screen okay and here we are uh welcome to my childhood this was uh Probably the second game I ever played. The first being Donkey Kong Country on my cousin's Super Nintendo. And I, uh... I never owned this game on Super Nintendo, actually, funny enough. I owned it on Game Boy Advance. Or, it was technically SP, you know, a little flip phone looking Game Boy? That's what I had it on. And... I played this game of shit. It was my first game, essentially. It wasn't the first game I played, but it was the first one I had. Um... Are these all worlds? Are these... Does these all have data on it? This is on my family's Wii, by the way, so there might be really old shit on here. <laughs> this is my fa- Like, I, in, in Christmas of 2009, I remember freaking the fuck out getting a Wii when it was, like, brand new. And, uh... Yeah. Well, it wasn't brand new, but it was almost brand new. I, and this is- Technically, I still have the uh, data from the original Wii. This is on my Wii U, but but I transferred the, the internal storage of my Wii to this one, so... So this is the we I grew up with. How weird. Anyways, let's get started. Everybody gangs there until one of your family members like, Hey, I wanna play Super Mario World? Do you still have the save data? You need to leave your save data. <laughs> I'm in my own house. Who the fuck would come to my house to play Super Mario World on my week? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here's this. Welcome, this is Dinosaur Land. In this strange land, we find that Princess Toadstool is missing again. Looks like Bowser's at it again, that stupid bitch. Keeps taking the princess. Unbelievable. Dinosaur Land and Princess Toadstool. Now this is already nostalgia inducing. You know, no Peach. Or I don't know, Yoshi's World or something. It's it's Dinosaur Land and Princess Toadstool. Hello! Sorry! Wait, this is from Yoshi. I'm sorry, I don't speak dinosaur, Yoshi. I don't know what that means. Yoshi's Island or Yoshi's Island 2? Well, that sounds amazing. We'll do Yoshi's Island 1 first. Oh, and I'm sorry, I, I forgot. I will put up the thing on. <gasps> I'll put up my stream on Discord so that my uh -oh. friends can watch in real time and not have to, you know, uh -oh. watch like a couple seconds behind and then react to everything late. <laughs> By the way, I'm not good at this game. How did you die so quickly? I want to say you play this game. You'd fucking suck. Zyka, I don't know how to explain it, but you give off the vibe of like a middle-aged mother that would be terrible at video games sometimes. What? How? <laughs> Maybe I'm just pulling that out of my ass. Coffee, tell me I'm wrong though. Bruh. Nah, nah, man. You can't be doing me like that. It's it's your humor and 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 and, and your gaming experience that gives you the that that, that slight Slight vibe, not like a full on, but like a hard on. Wait, a hard on? 
What? I don't know. I can't English. Can I butt slam this game? No, that's that's Mario Bros. Wii. My bad. I haven't played this since I was a fucking kid, actually. Oh my god. Quit dying. But I was a baby. I played this game. Uh, now I am 21, which is much older than a baby. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Oh, shit! The Wait, I just realized I'm forgot. covering my screen. Whoops. Bruh, you, you forgot to do the thing. The thing where you're supposed to, like... Alright, Zach, we're gonna backseat gaming the whole game. It's okay, I know how to crouch. <laughs> oh my god, obviously, obviously. Oh, wow, good job, Zach. Zero deaths, zero deaths. You're bad, you're bad, you're bad. We, we might need a death counter for this playthrough, we're already at two. Alright, I'll keep the death counter then. Also, welcome, guys. you're so bad. How are you feeling today, so Maz? Okay, so Maz- Wow, holy three. shit. That's a... Is that a, a speedrun right there? Speedrun? It's a speedrun. <laughs> so Maz is a beater right at games? Like, plays too many f- Four. <laughs> yeah, you're fucking you, you weird. Can't, you, can't can't be you, can't, you can't write this shit right, right now. Are you crave death? <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Death. Guys, I want you to know that except for the live streams I've been doing, like on YouTube and, and Twitch, which are like usually less than twice a week because I never say to my schedule. I don't play any games, unlike y'all, which play a lot of games with your friends or on your own time. And uh, and so my gaming experience is what you guys have all seen, which is me sucking, because I play games less than, well, than all of you. Right, you sound like a middle-aged mom. <laughs> yeah, you sound like a middle-aged mom. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Bro, my co-worker said I, I, I give off the vibe of the middle-aged mom. Like, how do I give off the vibe of a mom? Have you, have you heard the things that come out of my mouth on stream? How does it get off the vibe of a mom? <laughs> I bet there's a lot of people who are looking into mommy type people. They'd be like, yeah, that's a mom. JK, I don't know. I wouldn't know. Okay, stepping on this. It's uh, it's your sense of humor and the, and the style in which you play games in. <laughs> okay, the uh, first one, uh, I don't, I'm not buying that. <laughs> <laughs> the second one, I could buy that. <laughs> Uh, don't worry, I get better as time goes on, though. As we've all learned, there's certain games that, uh, I'm still good at on stream, and then there are certain games that... Well, I haven't played this since I was, like, eight, and I don't play a lot of games. As a matter of fact, since 2020, I can count the number of games I've played on my fingers because I play that little of games. <laughs> I don't think you guys could probably say the same since I know Coffee plays a lot of online shit, and Maz... Well, Maz is a full-on gamer. He's a beater. I know I can say that because I only ever play Second Life, apparently. Okay, you don't give off the vibe of a middle-aged mom. You give off the vibe of a, um... Never mind. I'm gonna back out something. Ha ha ha, What? What were you gonna say? Nothing. I was gonna say, uh... Hold on. That was the story of the game. All right, I was gonna say something too offensive, so I had to back out of it. I was going to say that Zyka gives off the vibe of a Walmart shopper, but that's too far. Ooh. Damn. Why is that super mean? That's why I backed out of that. You see, like, uh, dumb bitch is acceptable. Excuse me? What? <laughs> this game fucking... This game what? sucks. Glitches everywhere. Zero out of ten. Oh, 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 oh. okay then. I don't uh, think that was in the original. Right. That, that might be the, the Wii emulation, actually. Wii Spoilers, emulate. I'm playing on a Wii. Wii emulation sucks. Zero out of ten. Bad game. Okay, I was just getting used to the controls at first. Because, like I said, I haven't played this game since I was eight. And uh, last time I played a platformer was... Wait, when was the last time I played a platformer? Was it Hollow Knight? That was fucking two years ago. Oh my god, how did I get up there? Okay, there we go. Yeah, maybe it was Hollow Knight. I fucking hated Hollow Knight. Sorry, all you Hollow Knight fans. <laughs> Damn, huh? <laughs> there goes like half our favorites just played so <laughs> Hollow Knight in this. I ate the dirt off the wall! Oh, I should have ate the mushroom. Oh wait, it's like in the sky now, never mind. It's like in Minecraft where you eat dirt blocks. Wait, you can eat dirt blocks? No, no, you can't. Yes, you can. You gotta right click. Woo! Sorry. I don't 
think the, I don't think my memory is certain, but I don't think you can eat. Come on! In the in the new update, the wild update for Minecraft that released like a few days ago, you can eat dirt blocks now. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> That's so cool. He made it through it without dying. That's right. Pro gamer, uh, this is now becoming a zero death run where I will not die. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm gonna laugh if he fucking dies just right at all. <laughs> right there. It was right there. What do you mean? I didn't fucking die, you bitch. You almost. We all make died, mistakes. Then. We don't die from all of them. <laughs> what do you mean? When every time you trip, you don't die, you just fall sometimes and die. <laughs> every what? second second, a minute oh, passes. Oh, nice job, right? You, you missed the one up, man. This is gonna be a terrible playthrough. Because you folks are gonna be fucking insulting me the whole time! <laughs> Bro, you calling me a dumb bitch. Dumb bitch? <laughs> <laughs> This is karma. Water in the chat says, "Don't die, or I will die in real life." Sometimes it's looking a little tempting. It's looking a little tempting. Die, You need to die. This needs to happen, like right now. Oh! 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 Oh shit! Oh shit! My heart's beating. My heart's pounding. Oh god! I can't let water die, guys. I gotta fucking live. God damn it. <laughs> Brad, why you do this to us? Damn, it's a good thing your heart didn't like beat like 2200 BPM per minute, or you'd be like that one guy from that one visual novel where he has a heart condition and like he dates crippled girls. Okay, for the record, only that last level was uh, zero death run. This this level is not zero death run, just to be clear. Wait, wait, but also, Coffee, all I don't, I don't know what you said. I just heard heartbeat and crippled girls, and I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would like to also say that that's all I heard was heartbeats and cripple girl. My own explanation. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I almost died there. Can I, get a, can I get a Josh? Can I get a Josh, please? No fucking Joshes! Alright. I forgot the origin of Josh. Isn't that like a vine sauce thing? Kind of. Well, yes and no. It's from Supper Mayro Bros, where uh, Yoshi is called Joshi. Oh. In which case, Vinny just regularly refers to him as Josh now. Well, usually Joshi, but you know. Close <laughs> die, 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 dumb bitchatrons! It's time for you to suffer. Oh. Oh. Oh my fire flower! Fuck! I didn't see that! Fuck! Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> nice. Okay, anyways. Um, I have a story from today. I don't always have a story, but today I have a story. And my story is that, uh... My- Okay, we had a new girl at work, and I just want you to know that she worked for less than an hour and a half and then quit the job saying that it was too stressful! And you might think, okay, how bad was it today? It wasn't! And you can tell by my stories that sometimes it's bad, but I could say even from a newbie's perspective, who has zero job experience, which she does have, by the way, it was not a stressful day! And, she, and according to her, she wasn't stressed due to, I don't know, some sort of outside of life circumstances, which my coworker was suffering from, suggesting that, uh, I want you to know my coworker, Apparent- I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna give names for the sake of, like, you know, privacy, but, like, I just want you to know that her partner was apparently supposed to go show up in court, and he didn't, and then the fucking- whatever they're called- show up at her house and ransack the fuck out of her house before work, and her- they threw her shit everywhere looking for him, you know, like the- 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 the popo. And then, and then she still came to work. I mean, she was crying and, and it was sweaty, but, but like, you know, she has children, she needs a job, and she knows that we get fucked if we don't, and, and she actually has, like, you know, some adult responsibility. This girl, we were overstaffed, we had five hosts on, when, don't forget that I usually tell you guys, I work alone, you know, like, like Mr. Incredible says, I work alone, buddy, go home. But there was five fucking hosts, that's five times the normal staff, okay? Two is what we, is the, the standard. 
and there was five. We were, we were pretty much just standing around. She sat in the wrong section one time, and it's her first day, so we were teaching her. So one of the servers went, oh, you sat the wrong section. Seat this one next. And she was, like, staring forward. Like, this was the most intense moment of her life. And she fucking... I want you to know that she really said, like, oh, my God, I'm going to have a panic attack right now. I was like, wait, what? What do you mean you're going to have a panic attack right now? What's going on? Is, is something happening? She was like, well, that, that server yelled at me. I was like, no, 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 hold on. Uh, she didn't yell at you? She said you sat in the wrong section because you did. That's not yelling at you. That's teaching you how to do your fucking job. And we weren't even being mean about it. We were just being minorly insightful. And she ran to the bathroom crying. And I want you to know that she's older than me, by the way. This is not like a young girl. What the fuck? Because I should have specified that. But but yeah. And, uh, and, and then she ran to the bathroom saying she's having a panic attack. And I... Me being the... Listen, there was no managers in the house. They trust me too much. I have the manager card. I had keys on my pocket all day, and I was doing the managerial duties all day. I was pretty much the manager. I had figured I'd just fucking handle this because there's nobody else to. The person who was technically the shift leader at the time was the grill cook, which is, for lack of a better word, just can't. I love that guy. I love him. But he, he admits himself that when it comes to the front of the house, I manage. <laughs> he, he doesn't know what to do. I mean... I don't know how else to say this, but like, 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 he's worked there just as long as I have, around the same time, actually, just, just fucking this level, just slightly longer. <laughs> and, um, and, and he, he works the grill great, he knows how to work the dish tank, he knows how to work as a kitchen prep, which I know how to do almost none of which, except dishwashing, which is easy as fuck. But I, he doesn't know how to do any of the front house. He doesn't know how to serve. He doesn't know how to be a manager with customers. He doesn't know how to take phone calls. He doesn't know how to door host or cashier. Or use the computers when there's an issue or an error or a glitch in the system. So that is all left up to me. So I do the front of the house work. And he does the back of the house work. And the front of the house work also means that when a co-worker is feeling down. Or when they need their shift covered. Or when, uh, I don't know, they need to take a break and somebody has to cover them for a second. Or somebody's crying. Or a customer's mad. Or somebody wants a refund. I'm the one who does that. I'm pretty much, I, I'm pretty much a man. I mean, I get paid more than most people there. I get paid almost the same amount as a manager at this point anyway. <laughs> but, but I was like, all right, I guess I, I guess I, this fucking lady, which by the way, I was very, very nice to. And the person who was training her, which was my buddy, Will, was also extremely nice to, which she said we were nice to her. And the server was named Honey, which is, I've talked about her on stream before. She's one of my favorite servers. And, and she was not being mean. I promise you, she was not being mean. She just said you sat in the wrong section. Like, that'd be like if it was your first day, you didn't know where a box went. So you put the box in the wrong part of the place, right? And then I went, oh, sorry, the box doesn't go there. It goes over here. And then I ran to the bathroom and cried. And, and why can't I jump in the water? What the fuck's happening? I'm trying to jump in the water. Hey, man, how many deaths are we at right now? That's I, I believe zero. We're zero, right? We're zero. We're at zero. Wait, we're at double zero, but they're on top of each other's. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Oh, shit. I gotta do that level again. Okay. Well, um, continuing though. What if I just ran to the bathroom and quit because I put a box in the wrong place? Because that's almost the exact same thing as what this person did. She sat in the wrong section once, they corrected them as you would to anybody who has their first job, and she took it so personally, and she acted like she was being attacked and, and said that she was gonna have a panic attack. And this just, this just led to all of us pointing out like, we can't get any fucking staff because everybody we get is either a minor or just fucking useless or too ratchet or a fucking criminal. And we just, we just can't get any lucky with any fucking staff anymore because nobody wants to fucking work! Nobody works anymore! Everybody's either in college or, I don't know, like, uh, my, my, I, I work with somebody who's diabetic and has bipolar disorder and has panic attacks and seizures and she works five days a fucking week don't tell me you can't fucking work and this lady's having a panic attack because she sat in the wrong section okay i just i just need to put that into perspective my, my friend was ransacked by the fucking police because her husband didn't show up to court and she showed up to work and she's leaving because somebody told her she sat in the wrong section i i kind of want to crumble and die after hearing this i think i've lost hope in humanity after today
I'm pretty sure we're all gonna die when, uh, when, you know, something important actually happens to this country and we have to step up and work. And we're not gonna be able to fucking walk more than a mile or be able to take care of ourselves or feed ourselves or do any small amount of labor without whining or complaining that this is unfair or unjust. Since when is working unjust? We, we went from stabbing creatures and putting them in fire and eating them to being more civilized to have shelter and a slight society and trade to hanging people for committing crimes to the Great Depression where everybody's taking any possible job they can probably take without any experience to I can't work because I sat in the wrong section. I'm gonna have a panic attack. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> what the fuck? Are, are we- are- is this a range? Oh my god, I'm gonna die again. Oh my god, are you good? <laughs> I'm gonna die, guys. <laughs> Mark another death down because I'm fucking dead! Got it. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't believe this is the world that I grew up in, why? Now I do sound like a mom. All right, I'll, I'll take it. I sound like a mom now. <laughs> I, I I hate. I wish I was now 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 I'm gonna sound like one of those those people who say they're born the wrong generation. I wish I was born 20 years earlier, where, you know, you could afford a house without working two jobs like full time and sacrificing your soul to the devil, but I don't. And regardless, there's a lot of things we have now that we don't have back then that I would miss so much. Like, what we're doing right now, streaming. And I'm very thankful for that. But I also think, like, damn. I feel like with my work effort and the things that I'm good at, I feel like I could have gotten a pretty decent job back then. Back when people were looking for work and, and people were, like, you know, actually taking up jobs. But now we live in an age where college don't mean shit anymore. And people, people can't even work a part-time job without fucking freaking the hell out. I mean, you're only working three hours a day. What's the big issue? We give you breaks whenever you need them. We're very, we're very nice. You get free food and drink. You get to take a seat. You're in air conditioning. You can't take it if somebody tells you you sat the wrong fucking seat. I, I'm not gonna let this go, guys. I'm just not gonna let this go. <laughs> I'm gonna let this go. Let's talk about something else. What happened to your guys' day? Or any any commentary on that fucking story? Well, I got something actually. <clears throat> I got a couple things. Um, on my way to work, I was about to text in uh, a Discord that. Uh, I thought you were about to say you're fucking... gonna text and drive. I was like, man, you're not fucking text and drive. No, I was out. Uh, it, it was because th this is the reason why I was texting because, like. I was at a red light, and then I... Oh, you bitch! All of a sudden, I hear a... You boom! Sound. Uh, and really not... Like, two cars ahead of me, an accident happened. Got Wait, it. like, where? Damn. Like, uh... Rat, do you know where the... Uh, brown bag is at? Near here? By Applebee's? Yeah, by Applebee's. It just, oh. it happened really there. <clears throat> um, so yeah, that was, uh... That'd be shocking. Yeah, you made it this time. No, this, yes. Yeah, nice. That that story fired me up and gave me the dark energy to survive. Also, <laughs> yeah, 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 also, uh, also, uh <laughs> at work, I, I got into a round two with a fucking spider falling from the ceiling onto me. Bruh, what? Bruh. So I literally. There must be like a nest up there or something. I, I did Fuck the. It up. I fucking did the fastball special and threw it at a machine. Nice. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Guys, I want you to know that uh, I. Uh, so to continue my story earlier, right? After she left. Oh, by the way, if you're wondering how the hell did it end, did she quit? Yeah, she did. As a matter of fact, did I clocked really her quit? out, and she walked out in the middle of the shift. I said I explained it to my manager when he called later. I said, "Hear me out here." She said she was going to have a panic attack and she sat the wrong section one time. And keep in mind, you know, everything's not a fucking big deal. If, and, and there's a lot of times where we have to deal with, you know, customers being mad over their food irrationally. But, you know, you just, you just, you, it's not a big deal. You just kind of like, go, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. And then you walk away. That's really all there is to it. I mean, 
It's not the end of the world. And if it gets too much, you just grab a manager. It's 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 not the hardest job, really. It... That was that was out of nowhere. Uh, yeah. So. Ah! What the fuck? They're coming out the ceiling. No, but 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 that lady. Uh, it, yeah. So so after that, after that, I I said I said if you can't handle day one, uh, maybe this just isn't the job for you. To be honest. <laughs> like maybe you should just go back to working. Oh, she told me. Oh fuck. She told me she previously worked at Starbucks, which, uh, mind you, I work at a place where, you know, uh, it's mostly boomers and old people who eat there. It's very ratchet. We live next to a Motel C- uh, a Motel 6 where the police visit every fucking day because of drug issues and shit. I see car accidents outside my fucking, you know, work every day, and I, I hear people complaining constantly. It's a, a, but I don't really care. I mean, that's life. I mean, literally, no matter where you go, you're gonna see all of those things. It's inevitable. Maybe less, but it, it just. What am I supposed to do? You're supposed you to hit him in, in until the, he lava. Gets into the lava. I was trying to, but I would knock him that way, and then you go back that way, and I was like, what? what? What do you mean? Why are you going back that way? Okay, let's do it again. Do I have to start the whole level again? Oh fuck. <laughs> nope. Kind of, oh, okay, j j just the- the- th <gasps> Okay, anyway. <laughs> it's- it's just the and just screaming of just pure panic. But yeah, I- I saved that girl. I said, okay, I'll talk to the manager for you. I'll tell them you quit. I'll even clock you out myself with the manager card. And, uh, and- and just go- just go. You're fine. It was nice meeting you. And then when she walked away, much like a shitty person, I was like, oh, let's talk behind her back about how dumb she was. Ha 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 I'm kidding. <laughs> no, I mean, we kind of did. I mean, I mean, anybody would do that. After fucking that, anybody would be like, why did that happen last yeah. time? <laughs> I fucking did the same thing like eight times last time. All right, anyways. But yeah, I mean, my coworkers were like, we were like, what happened? What happened? Nobody yelled at her. It was an easy shift. What happened? Yeah, I mean, that's what happened. What happened was that she fucking freaked out over nothing, and I told her she can leave and probably just give up her apron and card. I'll, I'll take it. I'll take responsibility for this. Seriously, she should just get out of here. This is not a, 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 this is, and not in a mean way, very nice way. She said she was thankful for that, and that, you know, she, it was nice meeting me, but it's like, dude, well, no matter where you go, anywhere, you could be working at a department store, and a customer could stop you and ask you, why is there no fucking chips in this aisle? And no matter where you go, you can get yelled at. I mean, literally, that's part of life. Like, I remember watching this weird-ass Disney sitcom called Bert and Ernie when I was a kid, and there's this episode where this kid, like, is obsessed with being healthy, so he covers himself in a bubble so that no germs can encounter him, and he ends up freaking out over any little tiny thing, no matter how far or close it is to him, and he won't interact with people or let them get too close to him because he always wants to stay in his little bubble. And that's what this girl was in, but in a mental way. Like, you can't take anything negative at all. And that's how most people are nowadays. Can't take screaming, you can't take this, can't take that. You can't pick and choose. You live in the fucking real world. Like, not to sound like a bitch, but I'm not- I swear, I'm- I mean this in the best way. I'm not- I'm not saying this to be mean. I'm saying, like, in the real world, there's negative people everywhere no matter where you go that doesn't mean you have to be one of them it just means that you have to put up with it that's part of life doesn't mean you, you can't work you can't go to school you can't talk to people because there's a chance that they'll do something negative that's that's just how life works my guy all right i'm, I'm gonna stop talking about this but uh but i just cannot stop thinking about that today i, I can't believe it well that's happened. really crazy it's not even not even you think it's just her reaction to it, which is whack, man. And she said that she used to work at freaking, uh, what's it called? Starbucks. Uh, Starbucks? Bruh, like, working at Starbucks means that you gotta deal with a bunch of, like, assholes a lot. Well, I don't know. For, at least from where I live, Starbucks is, like, a much easier place to deal with than a diner. Because I work in a diner, not, like, a fast food place. But you just kind of take their order and fill up their coffee. Have a good day, and that's it. Or if or nowadays, during COVID, just, you, just, you just do it through a drive-thru. You don't even really have to talk to them. But I mean, here you can't really walk away from them since since it's like a diner. It's it's, it's, a, it's a little d different. What is that? What, what what the fuck is that? Boing! Boing! How do I get up? It's a, it's a Hot Wheels ramp. 
Okay, I'm just gonna ignore that. Oh, oh, oh! This that game is fucking hard! Bro, is this Cuphead? This is Cuphead. <laughs> Bro. Okay, okay, easy game yeah. for babies. Yeah, like Cuphead. What I mean, like, uh, there's a lot of Karens that tend to go to Starbucks, and they are really specific with how they want their coffee. They were like, oh, I want a venti mocha frappuccino with just a little bit of caramel and i do mean a little bit and if i so much as taste even more caramel than i do coffee i'm gonna come back here and scream and yell at you okay but that's that's, that that's fairly uncommon but at the same time i want you to name a single food service place where you won't have customers like that i i, I doubt you'll be able to name one because i know like, it, it's that's just what i'm talking about though i know that's what i'm talking about though is that she she's acting like she's never had an experience like that before and if you're saying that you worked previously worked at starbucks i i really question that you've never had an experience like that i know seriously but i mean granted like, like my coworkers were saying i mean starbucks is like a much healthier i don't know if that's the right word a much okay keep in mind i live in like a pretty ghetto town but like it, 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 i mean where I go, you get a bunch of ratchet people, a bunch of druggies, a bunch of boomers, and a bunch of Karens, and a bunch of young people. Like, I, I swear to God, there's a dude who comes into work with a full wallet of $100 bills, and he looks straight out of Tuco's gang from Breaking Bad, and he's kind of sketchy, but he's but he's also nice, to us at least. And it's like, I mean, but, but, but everybody's sketchy. There's there's people that ask for ridiculous amounts of shit where I work. I mean, I I have too many stories where I've shared them so many times over the years. But like, you might think, wow, right, you work at the worst place. But no, I don't. I, this is just diner life, honestly. Like, oh shit, what do I do? Yeah. Okay, no, we're fine. I thought I was going to keep coming down and going to fucking smush me. Right. <laughs> but, but I mean, it, okay. It's, it's, most people who've worked in food service of a diner and fast food have agreed that working in a diner is way, way, way infinitely harder than working in food service customer-wise, because in food service you can, for the most part, avoid it. You need to it. say Ernie. Well, I, I can't, I, what the fuck? You have to wait for the screen to scroll. Okay, I, it's, all right, I'll do it again, it's fine. Leaving. Three leaving. But, uh. But yeah, I mean, I mean, if you work anywhere, it's just gonna be a, a thing. But and food service especially, and I, I and, and and you know, I think this the the good thing to come out of this because there's always a good thing to come out of every negative thing. And and my coworker was like, you know, th th this makes me feel better about not only myself and my own capabilities, but also just like, you know, considering how much she freaked out over that, and we we talked about how this job isn't that bad. It kind of made us all like, yeah, this job isn't that bad. I, we might complain about it all the time, but like. There's plenty of worse jobs than this. It's really not the worst thing. I mean, yeah. I get yelled at a lot, and I, especially for me, not for everybody else. I, I, I have to do plenty of fucking positions more than my job description implies, and stay overtime because that place. I, I just, I just, I just run that place. But like, for somebody who isn't me, especially, and, and mind you, I don't really mind it either. That's why I'm still there after four years. It's, it's like, I can think of many, many worse jobs. Or at least, well, okay, there's no ultimate good or bad job. I think when you take a job, there's going to be good and bad things. And you kind of just have to accept and pick and choose which things you are okay with and which things you aren't. You won't ever find a job where you're okay with everything. I guarantee you that. Even your dream job is going to have problems that you're like, I wish this part didn't exist. You go to a job. Oh, this staff yeah. member sucks. I hate doing this chore. Etc. Etc. There's always gonna be minor issues. Nothing is perfect, but that goes with the entire world. Just the whole world. Like, is there gonna be a place where everybody's nice? Is there gonna be a place where you don't have to deal with this and that and etc. Because this is the fucking universe. This is the the planet Earth. I mean, have you lived on the planet Earth? I mean, it's just kind of how right? it goes. <laughs> What's this planet Earth you speak of? I thought we were on Mars. Oh screen, you're moving fast. Okay. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh no wait. wait. I didn't go up all the way. Okay. Nice. <laughs> you psyched yourself up, Rad. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. No! I want to get the coin. Oh my god, right. I want to get the fucking you coin. This is symbolic. This game is an artistic masterpiece. This symbolizes how oh greed leads us to our deaths. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Uh, 
I foresaw the future. Oh my god, that's so funny. That that time so well. Serious mode engaged. Hey, it's Tissosian. He says you died. No! <laughs> Bruh. How, we're only at 12 deaths. It's okay. I'm not that bad. I mean, I guarantee you that uh, childrens playing this game have died more than me. I know that's not saying a lot, but it's saying something. I don't know, man. I, I kind of beg to differ. I, think Psycho, they, I uh, bet you die it, more than I would at World 1. I, you know what? You know what? Let's stream it. Let's stream it. And I'll bet I'll, on PayPal, I'll put 20 bucks down that you'll die more than I will on World 1 of this game. I, I'm not that no bad. No way. No way. I used to play this game all the fucking time. I love Me game. too, when I was eight. No, that thing came no, alive. That thing came alive right, right what? there. What? It came Wait, I thought that was dead. <sighs> What the fuck? <laughs> uh, Tessosian says, have, I haven't seen Miyu around lately. Have you guys seen her? No, I haven't seen her since the last no, stream. No. no, man. She was very nice, though. I, 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 I decided to check out her channel. And, uh... Yeah. I followed her. You know, if she goes live, I'll have to stop in. She seemed really cool last time. Um, yeah. Very nice of her to stop in last time and, 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 and invite everyone else. <laughs> To this ratchet stream or uh, I just argue with my friends. <laughs> Bruh, you missed it. He called me a Walmart. Uh, a I took it back. Uh, I did not. I actually said that was uh, too oh, much. Oh, right, right. And then and then he called me uh, a dumb bitch. Oh, no. That, I mean, that's acceptable. But a Walmart, a Walmart <laughs> oh, shopper, no. that's just too much. That's rude. What's worse than a Walmart shopper? A dumb bitch is much better than a Walmart shopper. Trust me. I I can assure you, though, I am not a dumb bitch. What, it was like, when's last time you shot to Walmart? Bro. Alright, I'll make my apology Cancel. video next week. Don't worry. Bruh. I've been called worse. I mean, you guys fucking get mad at me if I miss one jump. You guys don't have people watching you backseat gaming your fucking Mario skills when you haven't played since you were like eight. Oh my god. What? Okay. Oh my god. I think that's just you're you're so... Guys, we're fucking. No. We're half an hour in the stream. I haven't played this game for like 15 years. Give me a fucking break. <laughs> I haven't said shit. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Zyka's is the it... one backseating you. No, I heard you it's say something. Like it's Zyka. Zyka. Listen, Alright, Zyka, you better put on your seatbelt sitting in the back seat. I'm a little bit of a rough driver. The only thing <laughs> I would backseat on is fucking, like, RPGs. I, I don't know. Oh, fuck! I missed it again! Oh, I got it. Don't do it. <laughs> what? What? Wait. Bruh. I'm a pro Mario player. It's because I'm a pro. Dissocian says he was fine. asking a question. He says, by the way, was that the first time, first raid you guys had? It was. Uh, wait, long story short, I've streamed on YouTube since 2016, and I switched to Twitch in 2020, and I streamed usually once or twice a week, and I took a couple breaks in here and there, because, like, I recently moved out. I'm still young. I, you know, I just turned 21, I just moved out, and, and that year I was too busy with shit, but... But I'm back for good now, and I'm very settled in my life, and I make enough money where I can definitely afford good internet to stream every week. So I, I, I'm, I'm good now. But I've, that, I've never been raided because, probably because I play weird shit like Toilet in Wonderland, <laughs> and or Charlie Murder. Nobody really joins for my streams because I just a whack variety streamer. I just, I just stream for the vibes and the, and the strangeness. That's what I want. He streams for the vibe, guy. Do it for the vibe. <laughs> do it for, do do it for the vibe. For the do the vibe. 2020 motherfuckers be like, do it for the vibe. This game is like strangely mesmerizing, by the way. Like, I don't know why, but. What was that? It just stopped, like, after two seconds. What was that? It was like, do do do. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool, you moved out so young. It's good to have. Well, I mean, my parents kind of like forced me to move out, but. But yes, I did do it myself. Well, kind of. I had a partner, but then she left me. And then I was, like, in financial crisis. <laughs> it was a shitty year, actually, but but I, I got through it. Well, yeah, that was that was a bit ago now. Wait, was I supposed to do something here? Now, now you're stuck with me. What? 
What the fuck is this? Room? Well, yeah, now Maz lives me, but and thank you, because now I'm not in a financial crisis anymore. <laughs> because I I could have moved into an apartment, but I moved into a house because I was like living with my girlfriend at the time, and then she abruptly fucking left me without telling me any reason why over a text message, and I haven't spoke to her since. And uh, and she was on a lease and legally obligated to uh you know I'm not doing this right legally obligated to pay for my house which is expensive because I have to pay all utilities and like. Listen, I don't know how it is everywhere, but in Ohio, rent this year is fucking absurd, and it's gone up everywhere universally. Like, rent is crazy this year. As if gas wasn't bad enough, right? Gas fucking, like... Ah! Sorry. No, wait, I need the pee, pee I need the pee, pee I think! I mean, wait, just singular pee. It's not a pee, -pee. It's just a... <laughs> Why'd that happen? That didn't happen last time. Sorry to hear about the girl. Yeah, it's uh, she was a good friend and, and she was like on some of the streams. A long time friend actually. She lived with me for about a year almost. Not a full year though. And we were friends for like three years and a regular in this community. Made a lot of art for my cartoons that I'll be posting on YouTube soon. And uh, I guess it just didn't work. I mean, I don't, I don't hold it personally. She's young and she's in college. She probably just, just like most young people, she probably just wanted to go out and drink with some dumb boys uh, and enjoy her young life while she has it. I didn't have that opportunity. I was like, my parents made me get a car on youngest. I'm the oldest sibling so I could drive my my siblings to school, which still don't really work that much. And then I had to, uh, you know, cover for them a lot, which, which just meant more work for me. And I didn't have a job yet. So when I had to get loan that car out, I had to work to pay off a loan for a car that I didn't want to drive my siblings to work. And then I, you know, was still in school cramming homework and trying to still do what my dream is of making cartoons and shit and uh and i'm still doing that you know i i mean my mom's a great parent that sounds like a lot but really i don't know i mean sure i'm i swear i'm mental sometimes but at least i i'm responsible enough to like take care of myself and clearly move out on my own because honestly nowadays that's saying more than ah shit sorry that's saying more than back then <laughs> Lucky number 14. I know, because we're getting too serious on a Mario stream. We should just be talking about uh, farts or something. No, fuck farts. Who, who, who laughs at farts? You laugh at farts, you're a child. It's like you're a child. <laughs> yeah. No. I don't laugh at farts, I No, think. no, it's like you're a Walmart shopper. <laughs> no, I'm not. Okay, no, it's like, where do you shop at? Where do you actually shop at? Target, I get. No, I, I shop at HGB. -E HBO? <laughs> H-E-B, groceries, right? Y'all talking about groceries? Hell yeah! Not to yours. I'm just talking about one I mean, I go shop at Meyer. Um, there's a few local places that are, like, specific to the state, kind of like your H-E-B, or, or if you go down to, like, North Carolina, they have, like, Sea Lion or whatever the fuck it's called. There's, like, those local ones in every state. I just shop yeah. at Meyer. Yeah. I shop at Myers for very minimal stuff. But Myers is just like you, know, you have to agree. If you never shop at a Myers, it's not for. Well, actually, the Myers app is really nice for saving money, to be honest. But it's not necessarily for the money. It's just because I. It has a great vibe. Like, it's clean. The the coworkers are not in your face, and they're also nice. And um, and it has a good selection of stuff that I like. Not like useless trash of fucking Walmart and people. Running around and then, you know, people running around in their fucking pajamas at 12 a.m. in fucking Walmart to buy some curtains. Not me, bruh. Couldn't be me. I hate. It, I do not it, like to support Walmart at all. Yeah, same. It, it, it's not bad. I just prefer going to, like, BJ's. I, I just like to get shit in bulk. Oh, what did he do that oh, for? Bruh. bruh, he was like bruh. a mini boss. Did you see that? He was like that a mini boss. That turtle went super sing on Dude, he activated his fucking JoJo stand just now? Like right? the saying, you didn't lose her, you gave her back. Yeah, yeah. Pretty much. Oh, nice, yeah. I mean, technically, she just left me abruptly. She could have at least talked about her. I mean, I could have, like, shipped her clothes to her or something. I wasn't going to be a shitty person. I mean, we were always cool. Well, holy shit, like, you went right down the middle. That was just my bad luck, but, like... You're playing well, golf, right? You know, it's like, well, we were always cool. And, and just, she abruptly is, like... You know, on a field trip at, at, at college, and she's like, goodbye. Even though we were cool for three years and like close friends with like all of my friend group here. And she just randomly left, because why not, I guess. But but it's like all my coworkers have been telling me. Because by the way, she worked with me for about a year as well, so all my coworkers know her. And it's like. What? 
I know I suck. Don't worry about it. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought that. I just thought that was pretty sorry. I thought he was gonna go down the hole and not actually go back. No, to this guy's scary. Run. Okay. But 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 it's like it's like. Listen, if you're young still and you want to enjoy college life, I say sure. But just careful not. He caught his <laughs> shell and kicked it back. <laughs> They're I've fighting never seen back. That. They're fighting back. But but here's what I wanted to say is that like I mean, enjoy your childhood while it's there. You shouldn't rush to be an adult, but you also shouldn't prohibit growing up because that's how you become a fucking man child. Um, you know. Ah fuck! Damn. That's I mean, hard. debatably, I'm a man child. I'm just a man child that's responsible enough to take care of himself and other people. <laughs> Yeah, he's responsible enough to actually communicate. So that, that's the thing that makes me like upset with her is that she was very uncommunicative. Like she did not. It was like she only cared about herself, I guess, and not wanting to have any conflicts. But it's yeah, like, I mean, that's like just part of being an adult. That's a part of being in life. It goes back to what you were saying earlier about that girl at work, right? Like, like there's always gonna be conflicts. Yeah. But I mean, this was not even like, what was the conflict? We were playing Minecraft the previous night. Why did she just, there was nothing that led to that. She just randomly left. I mean, I, I'm not going to, I don't make assumptions. I mean, it could have been anything. Something could have happened. Her parents could have talked to her. She could have been a hoe. Who fucking knows what the fuck happened? It could be anything. I'm not going to jump to conclusion. I'm just going to assume that maybe she didn't want to be part of this anymore. I mean, but, but, but it, like what my coworkers say makes sense. She's going to regret it. She gave up. She, she's hanging out with random college people, probably drinking, and she's gonna forget about all of them in a year. Like, literally every person... Uh, spoiler alert, adults who've been to college and tell you that all those people they met are, like, they forgot about and don't matter in the long run, they aren't just saying that for your sake. They're telling you a story of their own life that holds up in modern society. I mean, it's like, you're not gonna give a fuck about these random people you're drinking with. As a matter of fact, you're gonna get drugged up, you're gonna be knock, knocked up in this fucking college party. That happens all the time. And it's like... Unfortunately, it's statistic true. It is very true, and, and those people don't matter. They're just randos. But, but, uh, but oh my god, I'm sorry for sucking. But, but like, <laughs> okay. with with this group of people, a group of people that cares, and I've helped all of my friends financially. Mind you, I'm not rich at all. If I haven't made it clear enough, I work at a restaurant in a ghetto town, and I was in a financial crisis up until my roommate moved in. I'm not rich, but when my my roommate. Had her children take away from her. Not my roommate, sorry. My my, my, my great old friend Alice is, have, is struggling. I still contributed money to her, and she paid me back because I trust her. And 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 and, and I got her through a, a minor crisis during that point. And 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 I'm always there for my friends to make them laugh, make them cry. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm a great guy. That's not necessarily what I'm saying. I'm just saying I'm a I'm a good enough person that I should be considered a decent human being. Where I there's no reason. To mistrust me. I'm not necessarily, you know, a saint. If anything, my terrible, <laughs> my, my, my terrible degenerate sense of humor and, and anything would, would make me anything but a saint. It's just that a sense of humor and, a, and, and the things that you like are not comparative to the things that you do. Your actions speak a lot louder than your, 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 your likes. You know what I mean? Like, you, you could watch porn every day and be a porn addict and, and still be a great person that's trustworthy, which is normal nowadays, but but th th maybe not the best example, but but you get what I'm saying. Like, you can be into stuff that's not acceptable and still be acceptable because w what you're into doesn't define who you are. I'm talking way too much this stream, so I take the mic away from it. So, come grab this microphone away from me. I got God. lost. I don't. I didn't mean to get preachy. I was just talking, and then I kept talking. No, I understand though. I, we, like, I think we all get it. But... He says the sad truth is sometimes a girl has to go through a few guys to learn how to buy someone. Yeah, but there's also the case of, unfortunately, sometimes they just don't ever learn. I think part of learning is, um, part of learning is like you know, acknowledging your mistakes and learning from them. But you can't learn from your mistakes if you blame other people for your own faults. That's where you don't yeah. learn. Like, if you make a mistake, you should own up to it and you should learn from that. You shouldn't just say, oh, it's his fault. Oh my fucking god, I'm so bad. Guys, this is like, you remember when I streamed Mario Maker with Ryan, like, four years ago? This is, like, worse than that. <laughs> I think it's mostly because 
I think it's mostly because your, your mind is distracted because you're having these deep top. You know what? When Maz was talking, I was playing better. You're fucking right. All right, Maz, you have to tell us. I'm kidding. Did, did anybody else do anything besides my dumb work story and me like getting personal all of a sudden for no reason? <laughs> I, I, I mean, it's whatever. We talk about anything on the stream. We talk about yeah. real life shit. We talk about not not that often, but I, I usually I, I I keep it real with stories, but I don't usually get preachy. I, I hope I didn't come off preachy. I was just sharing my experiences, and hopefully yeah. you learned something from it. Yeah. I learned from anything. I learned from an old guy that sits in my restaurant at a specific booth, and I sit in his booth and talk to him for five minutes every Sunday, and I learned from him. And I also learned from random strangers that have encountered bad problems and tell me about it, because, I don't know, maybe just because I endorse customer service, and I like talking to people and learning from... And learning from people. I think I think that if you were to stay in a box your entire life, everything that you know would be that box. But if you walk out of the box and you encounter other things and people, you learn about those things and people. And you also learn about where those people and things have uh, influenced other places and people. And then you just keep growing. It's a big web. But if you don't move, the web doesn't grow. It's just stagnant. You have to, like, constantly... You know, you have to you have to constantly search for not a hammer man. You have to search for new shit constantly <laughs> to, to to learn more. It makes sense. I mean, it just makes sense. Yeah. I mean, I've learned from the dumbest people and the greatest people. I don't think that you need to be smart to learn from somebody. If anything, I've learned more from dumb people than from smart people somehow. <laughs> like, it, it's kind of sad to say that, but think about it. Think about like you personally. Think about your least favorite person. And think about the things that you've endured and the things that you hated about that person and how you thought, damn, I'm never going to talk to a person like that again after talking to this person. You just learned! You just learned from that person that you don't want to deal with people like this anymore because of how atrocious they were. And that, that, that's what I'm talking about here. You can, you can really learn from anything. And I'm talking too much. I, I swear I didn't drink a shit ton of coffee this time. I didn't. I know I'm an insomniac, but I, I, I actually didn't drink coffee this time. I have more energy than I should. I think that, that that's strange. I think when that girl left work that I, I had a spasm attack on this floor like ten minutes ago, that just gave me an un, unnecessary amount of energy. I'm sure it also like reminded you of like you know, Kelly and all that. Probably. Anyways, again, I I don't usually get too personal. I'm just we're just having fun here. Um, not not to get yeah. Ah no! I tried jumping off. I I swear I was clicking the right button. Not in this game. I suck. It's okay. Well, at least you don't have to start <laughs> all over again. Oh, oh my well, god. Never mind. <laughs> 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 uh, Coffee, what'd you do today? You're, you're still a college boy, right? Yep, but, uh, I, I'm out. It's, uh, you know, summer break. Oh, I forgot oh, you're yeah. out. Oh, yeah? We need to, that's right, we need to take advantage of this time. We're going to have it. Damn, bruh. But what I did today, uh... <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, you know what I was talking about? Fucking a, a guy with heart disease and him dating fucking cripple girls? Why? What? <laughs> no? Oh wait, no, yeah, you did talk about that, I'm sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. okay, so, uh... Oh, God! Right, you're playing golf. Run. You're playing golf. Playing golf. Playing golf. Playing golf. Playing golf. I'm playing but... golf, the number is getting too high for me to have a good score. <laughs> you're getting, you're not getting the pars right. But, okay, uh, I was playing a... Oh my God, rat. <laughs> I really am I was video games. I uh, I got I got a little nostalgic and revisited a a visual novel that I used to play as a teenager, <laughs> and it was involved uh, about a guy with heart disease and how he goes to a school filled with crippled people. Why? <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh no, shit! I, mean, I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. It's you a, know what it's I'm a, talking? yeah, it's a, it's a romance role play game, but it's mostly a visual novel. Yeah, I remember. I remember. What? Yeah, you remember that? Guys, I'm uh, sorry. I didn't yeah. grow up a weeb. I've never played a visual novel, unironically. I didn't. Hey, I didn't either. I just saw it and I, I saw it. You never like, played title. it? Never no. Played it. The only visual novel I've ever played is Doki Doki Literature Club. <laughs> 
Oh, I saw okay. a gameplay. Bruh. I okay. So today I, you know, I revisited it because when I when I saw the game, it, it's called uh, Kanawa <laughs> Dojo, which which literally translates to crippled girls. How funny. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I played crippled girl. Why would you make a vi like is somebody fetishizing crippled women? I don't understand. <laughs> yeah, like one of them is like No, no, no. I sorry. No, 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 no. Okay, I'm dead. <laughs> Guys, I'm yeah, sweating know. because the AC's off because I didn't want it to be loud. You're so good at the game. Just the fuck up. You know what? I swear I would not lose as much as you do. <laughs> okay, l l let me reword that. If you were streaming on Twitch and trying to tell a story while playing World okay, One, then yeah. maybe you would you would be <laughs> right, losing. Doing it right. You gotta you gotta hype up your emotions. You gotta really hype it it's up. It's okay. I'm speedrunning. I'm speedrunning. It's okay. I'm speedrunning. Oh, oh, I got it. Oh shit! 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 I'm moving. I'm moving. I'm moving. Fuck that coin. I don't need coins. I got money. Oh shit! I'm going! I'm going! I'm going! I'm going! I'm one! Done! Holy shit, that's good! Oh my god. That's my JoJo pose. <laughs> Bruh. But yeah, today I uh, I revisited it because when I was a teenager, I only dated for the fucking the, the anime girls. I had a hard on when I was like... 13 or whatever. Yeah, Which cripple is your favorite? Crippling. The wheelchair, the, uh, you know, the, the, uh, the, the deaf girl, the blind osteoporosis girl, the, one. The, the, girl with the, the girl with the burnt face on the side of her face is burned. Oh, Which one? dude! That was, that was, okay, that was oh the my fucking I god. What? Game over <laughs> again. We're not yeah, gonna do that. No, I, you I, have to I, play I, that. I fucking dated the fucking, uh, the girl with the burnt face. Oh, that one, okay. Oh, hey, the burnt face? People... You're talking about Burt from the Muppet. <laughs> okay. uh, people, call her, people call her Bacon Girl because, like, she looks like Oh, baby. yeah. What are you on about? <laughs> That's so is, is it just me and Rad that don't know this shit? I'm not a fucking weeb. I don't know what the fuck you guys are talking about right now. <laughs> no, go on, though. I want to hear more about osteoporosis, woman. It's okay. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm for so like what like so essentially since she's in the wheelchair, do you like lift her up and sit in her wheelchair and then sit? Her... <laughs> I don't think oh. there's a girl with a wheelchair, but there's a girl with no legs. Well, how does Wait, she walk without a wheelchair? She have no wheel. Uh, what? Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh, I made it. Yeah, she, she has oh, prosthetics. Oh, oh. Swear to God, no. that is very uncommon. I would have expected her to just be in a wheelchair. Wait, she, she has double prosthetics. <laughs> Double for both your legs. Did you guys hear that Robert Downey Jr. bought a kid who lost his arm a prosthetic Iron Man arm? Like, yeah, um, I remember that. Really? Uh, dude, uh, Johnny Depp is such an amazing guy. No, no, it was Robert Downey Jr. Oh, Robert Downey Jr. Same. Yeah, the dude who plays Iron Man. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Wow. I, yeah, I love. Uh, Robert Downey Jr. Yeah, I like the little Robert Downey Jr. went. <laughs> oh my god, that's what you guys are talking about right now. Are you kidding me? Bruh. <laughs> Dumbest thing. Yeah, man, there's a. Okay, hold on. What are the girls? There's a no legs girl, no arms girl, blind girl, deaf girl, and burnt girl. <laughs> oh, nice one. He says Giant Dip is cool too. He somehow convinced me that he had scissors for fingers. I just recently watched oh, Severed yeah. Hands for the first time, and that movie was fucking amazing. I actually, unironically, yeah. thought that was, like, a, like a masterpiece. Like, I don't use that word too often, but I think when something is, like, timeless and withholds, like, you know, the, 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 the ages of times. Let me, let me read this in a way that doesn't sound stupid. Something is timeless when it's done in a way that was unique to the time, still holds up 20 years later, and... Is it has great pacing. It makes a statement. It's deep. It leaves a lot to think about. That's a masterpiece. Like everything's covered. Everything you could possibly want from movies covered. That did cover that. I mean, it really was very original and it was it's fantastic. But uh, but anyways, uh, yeah. I mean, some of my favorite actors are Robert Downey Jr., uh, Johnny Depp, um, Samuel L. Jackson. Uh, Wait, Johnny Depp played Edward Scissorhands? Yeah. Yeah. 
It's like a, a teen, though. Oh. Yeah, I didn't realize that. Jesus. He, he also, also was, um... A, well, he was in a lot of movie. Tim Burton movies, right? Yeah, but he also played a, another movie before that called Crybaby. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, get me up there! Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Bump him up! I bumped him up. I, I touched Zachary, his butt. You know the you know the beater strat. I never thought of doing that, bro. What the fuck? He what? says, yeah, it's definitely timeless. Yeah, I would watch it again, you know, I just watch it. I, I don't watch that many movies, believe it or not. Um I'm I'm I have my standards have raised too much to where I get I'm too judgmental and I'll watch something that I'll watch something great and I'll be mad at it for not being amazing. <laughs> But uh, but that movie was amazing. I was very very satisfied with that movie. It was really aesthetic too. Like I love the way they played with the colors and the and the depth, you know, behind. Really cool, really cool. Eat, eat the fly meatball. Okay. Can I eat the hammers? <laughs> Can I eat the hammer? No, I can't eat the hammer. Fuck. Give me you. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna spit it at him. Watch, watch, watch. I'm gonna do it. Bruh! What? Wait, where'd he go? Where, wait, oh, he wasn't in my mouth still, I'm sorry. He swallowed. Hold on, I got this, I got this, I got this, I got this. Got this. Boom! Wait, so the, in this game, does Yoshi not do the You know what I'm talking about? It doesn't do the hair. doesn't do that in this game? No, I don't think he's in He doesn't do the He does the You can eat the hammer, but not in the way you want it to. Oh, I was eating the hammer. <laughs> Morton's castle. So we had Iggy and Morton. Y you know, I don't know why I'm talking about this. <laughs> For some reason, I think of Iggy. I'm not a pop fan. I don't really like pop music. I my, my taste in music is uh, way different than pop. It's like the opposite of pop, essentially. I, it's not a catchy shit. I just like whack ass aesthetic, strange, almost Discord like music. But but, 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 when I was a 13 year old and my sister listened to pop and everything, you would hear the stuff on the radio, and then, uh, I was watching a music video of this music artist named Iggy, and she had this big fat ass, and she was like, oh, yeah. bumping her ass around with Nicki Minaj, and back when, when I was a, a, a young boy with a, who, who just went through puberty, I was like, this is the hottest shit in the world, Iggy is so fucking hot because she has a big fat ass, <laughs> God. Ah, uh, you were so uncultured back then. Well, yeah, I think when you're when you're a thirteen year old, <laughs> everyone's uncultured. For being honest. <laughs> oh God. This one gives me so much anxiety. I remember this level. This music, I love so much. By the way, I've always loved the Super Mario World soundtrack, and this one's one of my favorites, if not my fave from the game. I'm like focusing a lot more than I was before. Wow. You guys hear the wow in the background? No? Okay, anyways. Yeah. Wait, do I have to? Uh, yeah, I think I have to drop down. Then you move it. Then you move it to the other. Stop oh practicing! I did! Sorry, I'm so nervous! I'm so nervous! I'm so nervous! <laughs> this is why that gives off that mom vibe to me is because like I remember being like playing my Wii when I was a kid My mom being like like if whenever she watched me, she'd be like, why didn't you just what? <laughs> <laughs> Bruh my mom would be like she would like be like why can't you just get up and, and do this thing and it's like that not fucking works mom I mean, what I can say actually makes sense, but that's that's what I. That's what I Your mean. mom's like, why can't you just shoot Bowser with a gun? <laughs> you might be thinking of a different Iggy than this Koopa is referencing. Probably. Okay, what are the other Iggies? Um, how about JoJo's Bizarre Adventure? Yes. Yeah, oh oh my god. Iggy. The fucking dog. Iggy. There's, also, there's also Iggy Pop, who is uh, a. Yeah, Iggy Pop. Yeah. Wait, remind me. That sounds so familiar. What, what is it? He, he does like rock and uh, grunge. What songs? What's the name? Uh, I can't remember the name. I'm not good with artists. Like, I'll remember songs, not artists. Tessian, tell, tell us one of your favorite Iggy Pop songs. Wait, is, is, I don't, is this band called Iggy Pop or is he part of a band? Uh, no, I think that's just his name, Iggy Pop. Hmm. Tessasia, do you, do you pronounce your like, name like. The sauce or, or the sauce is on or something. Like the sauce is. On, I never even thought of that. Yeah, because like he, sauce I, he, I remember he said last time that. <gasps> he, <gasps> sorry. 
He said in the last uh, stream, he said that if you don't know French, you won't be able to, you won't understand, uh, I guess, his uh, thing. Okay, well, I took French in high school and I was terrible at it and my French teacher hated me, but let me do my best attempt here. Is it Tessocion? <laughs> Yeah, Tisotian. Uh, I was really bad at French, by the way. Leon, uh, baguette. Okay, I don't want to be repetitive to you guys if I already said this, but I, have I ever talked about my French teacher on stream and how yeah. she hated what? me? Yeah. Okay. Actually, I don't know on stream though, but I know you talked. You told us before in, in, in calls. Before. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll just for the sake of not edging people, I'll talk a little bit about it, but I won't talk your ear off if you've already heard this before. So she hated me essentially, and um, I well. We had to give ourselves French names in the class for some reason, and she called me Julian. And uh, when when she would teach, no, she was so like she taught us like we were like preschoolers, and she said because we're learning basic French, we should learn the same way that preschoolers learn French when they're a child. Except that wait a second, that doesn't make any fucking sense because we're not preschoolers, and we're our our fucking brain is like developing in a completely different fashion than preschoolers' brains would. So that's no, that's not a con that's not a good way to teach. Yeah. That's not how people teach sp Spanish people in high school. But she was uh she was very um she was kind of foreign. She was from like here. I want you to, to understand this. She was born in um Romania, and she speak you know um Italian or something. <laughs> Run, no. Romanian, I'm sorry. And then, um... Yeah. <laughs> no. God, you no. insulted Swag. No. <laughs> but, 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 yeah, and then, and then, and then she learned French and came to America, and, I mean, she wasn't a bad person, you know, I didn't hate her, but, 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 and when she didn't hate me as a person, but when it came to, uh, working together in high school, oh, man, we just hated each other. We couldn't stand seeing each other. And I took her class just to torture her in the second time. I, I took her class first time because I needed a foreign language class. And the second time, I took it with a tiny hippo train, you know, the, the Oh My God guy in the, the RTK videos. And, uh, and bro, we just used to fucking bully her pretty much because... <laughs> Whenever she'd ask the class to like pronounce something as a whole, we would just like be assholes about it. But we were high schoolers, so whatever. But it's still mildly funny. We would just like, she'd be like, everybody repeat that to me, it is bonjour. And then we'd always be like, bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> but like she couldn't get, in, she couldn't get us in trouble because when she went to the principal's office, okay. Well, a short story. When I was a freshman, I took French class and then she sent me to the office for I'm not making this up. I promise you that, that many people can back me up that this is a real story. She sent me to the office for coughing too loud. And so I, then I went back because I was so pissed. And I kept, I on purposely started coughing extraordinarily dramatically loud all of a sudden. Just to like make her annoyed for the rest of that class. People thought it was funny and then I just kept doing it. Oh shit, it's getting intense. Hold on, I gotta hold the story off for a second. This is intense, guys. I think I'm gonna fucking die here because fucking... He has gravity boots! Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh god! Okay. Fall on the ground, fall on the ground, fall on the ground, and fall on the ground! Come on, I got your bitch! Bro, that Koopa can like wall run like how Suzaku wall run in that one scene in Kokia. Bro! <laughs> <laughs> Bro, did you see him? He went. Damn. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh god. <clears throat> By the way. This game is the same age as the Iggy you were originally thinking of. That is surreal to think about, my friend. <laughs> Wacky. Wacky and well. Damn. I mean, I never really had celebrity crushes except when I was like 13. I mean, I'm I'm a degenerate and, and I, I sometimes, you know, I like the waifus in, in, in like a show. Because I'm an artist. I like art. But, um... Or rather, I guess the better way to word it is that I like the concept of a character. I like the art and like the personality in a fictional yeah. thing. But I don't know. The concept of celebrity crushes never really went through to me. I don't. I, and if we're like, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with having a celebrity crush. I'm just saying that for whatever reason, it never clicked with me. Like a person I've never met, a real human that has their own family and life and events and problems that I don't know about. I'm going to say that I like and have a crush on. It's different with a fictional character. It's just a concept. It's like it's like saying you like Mario, you know? It's not really weird because it's just a fictional character. But saying I like Johnny well not okay that well you could like him for his talent, that's not a good example. But like just saying you like somebody that you've never met before, regard like you know, not Okay, because Mario, we don't like Mario because of his talent, we like Mario because of his games, okay? So I'm just I'm just trying to have you understand me here. What are you talking about, Ren? We should love him. 
I don't, I don't like Mario for jumping on fucking blocks. Oh shit. I like Mario because his games are fun and I like his design and his little funny voicing. And Charles Martinet's voice acting, right? But, okay, where am I going with this? What I'm trying to say, okay, I'm probably talking too much about this. All I'm saying is that the concept of liking somebody that you've never met before has just never sat right with me for some reason. I've just, have I always been capable of doing that? But I thought you knew that. That, oh my this, god, this that's crazy. why I couldn't fucking get off the Yoshi last time. Oh shit! <gasps> okay, get out of here. This place is dangerous. Wear your safety hats in the zone. But yeah, I don't know. I just I just always thought it was weird. You know, it's like, I have a crush on this girl I've never met before. I mean, sure. Like, when you watch porn, I, get, I mean, I'm a weird person. I don't even like watching porn of real people. It's just weird. I'm, I'm watching strangers fuck each other. Does that not make you feel... I mean, don't, don't feel bad about it. I mean, it's normal. But it just, for me, it makes me feel bad about it. It makes me feel like a creep. Like, I'm watching strangers have sex that I don't know. It's just fucking weird! Fuck the lava! It's a speed run. You gotta. You can't stop. You gotta keep running. Oh god. Okay, we're, we're, I talk about porn too much. Let's talk about my porn. But anyways, <laughs> it's just weird to me. I, I'm gonna. Okay, I'm done talking about porn now. I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait, you need that? Okay. No, I don't need that. I need this. Uh, well, I, I we can. I actually wanted to discuss something. Actually, that I just found porn? out. Um, no. Uh, it's fucking. I don't know. What that is. Well, coffee. Actually, you reminded me. It's like, what the hell's going on with like Minecraft? They're coming out with a new game, apparently. What? No it's Minecraft called, game? Minecraft Legends. It's called Minecraft Legends. Oh, not. I thought you were talking about, like a Minecraft Two. I don't care I, about that. Shit. I, I I don't know what the hell it's supposed to be. Did coffee have any ideas? Uh, when I saw the, the the teaser slash trailer, it looked like a it looked like 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 a an RTS game, real time like. Fucking, what was it? Not, not Dota, not League, um... Other game, Starcraft, something... I wasn't like, a fan of the Minecraft Dungeons. Stardew Valley? I, I don't know what it is, but like, okay, I like Minecraft because it's relaxing, and it has really good music, and you can build and chill with your friends. <laughs> what I don't like- What I- OH FUCK! I DID IT AGAIN! You're not supposed to jump and go after that guy. It's okay, it's I got my one up back. It's okay, I got it back. My life's back. Dude, eat the blue shell. EAT IT?! No, that's when you're on YouTube. But yeah, that that. Uh, but no, that was... oh, sorry, sorry, to finish what I was saying, no. Minecraft as a, like outside of context of a building game, I never understand. Like Minecraft story and Minecraft dungeons and shit. And... What? Why are you playing you know these ugly rectangle characters? Like, why would you do that when you could just play a game with normal, actually like. Aesthetic looking characters instead of fucking block people with like eight pixels on their face. I, I just never understood that. It's just weird to me. But anyways, uh, I, I again, I'm just providing my opinion. I'm not like taking you anything away from you if you like Minecraft Dungeons. Why would my opinion fucking matter? It's just, I just think that block people are ugly. That Wait, that sounded weird. I meant block people. Is that what I said? Yes, okay. <laughs> yes, I said block people. Alright. Also, uh, minor story that my coworkers would not fucking leave me alone for today. Uh, I have a coworker named Ray Janae, and a customer went up to me and said, Hey, can you give this tip to my server? I said, Oh, uh, sure, who is your server? They said, Oh, I don't know. She was the black girl, and I and we only- there was only one black girl working, and her name was Ray Janae. I said, Oh, you're talking about Ray Sheila. <laughs> Ray Sheila? <laughs> like, who the fuck is Ray Sheila? Is that even a real name? <laughs> no, it's not a real name. I fucking made that up on the spot. It's a it's an R and R character. <laughs> I killed a Ray Sheila and she heard me and she was like, who? <laughs> <laughs> and, was, and then and then everybody was calling her Ray Sheila for the rest of the day. It was so fucking funny. <laughs> 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 We were like, she said, what the fuck was she said, what was my name again? Ray Sheila, that name ugly as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's, those are the exact words, I'm not butchering that. <laughs> that name ugly as fuck. That's so funny, bro. Dude, Ray Janae is so fucking weird. Like, she's, she's really new, and, um, like, she's one of those people where, like, I like her, but she's, listen, I want to say it to her face. I like her, but she's low-key kind of dumb. 
But like not bad dumb. Like she's she's a very likable person and she works hard. <laughs> she's just one of those people where like it feels like a few screws might be loose and like obvious shit is for some reason not obvious. You know what I'm saying? Like you you ever met somebody like that? Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, I know what you like, like, she's really nice, I love her, but like, there's like, really obvious shit that she just misses, and is, and I'm just like, girl, what? But anyways, I just thought that was funny. That's really funny. Likeable dumb is not a bad thing. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I prefer likeable dumb over, uh, not likeable smart. <laughs> oh, shit, you, I think I you, know. kinda, you kinda need, oh, man, dude. It's okay, I got this, no, I'm a speedrunner. No. I'm a speedrunner, I got this! I got this! I don't got this. Bruh. You don't go after the little freaking one that's up in the air. Just forget about him. Oh, I like that guy. <laughs> it's okay. I got this shit. I'm a pro Mario. It, uh, are you? Yeah. That's why I'm getting hit right now. Uh, that's why it's on 40 deaths right now. What? <laughs> that was just bad timing. Bro. Like, I don't know what you're talking about. I think you're lying. I think it's 41. Oh yeah, I'm sorry, my bad. I didn't think about that one. When I was a kid, this this weird ass song gets stuck in my head. Ba, 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 ba. I don't know why. <laughs> Come on, speedrun! Yeah, I got some rashes. Rashes turned into caveman. I'm going uh eight mode. A Lincoln mode that is. Oh shit. Right. Oh no. Okay. Oh my god, no. I know I'm bad. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'm, I'm losing it. I'm starting to think we should switch to another game. <laughs> no, right, come on. Board, this this game board. is for babies. Bro okay, time to switch. It's time to switch. Who wants to play Wii Sports Resort? Everyone <laughs> <laughs> want to play Wii Sports Resort? Bruh. Oh my god. Wii Sports Story mode. Who wants it with G-Force? G-Force, G-Force, we're gonna have to play G-Force? Oh, oh my god. Oh no, pissed off, Dan. You don't know what G-Force is? Uh, okay, Tessalsin, do you know that Disney movie where there's guinea pigs fighting coffee makers and it was kind of bad? Well, the game's good. <laughs> And and we were we started a segment called here I'll pull up an image. We started a segment called Trash Test Thursdays, where we just play anything. It could be great, it could be terrible, just any random ass game. And here's our logo for it. Oh uh, yeah, right. And uh, the go, first man. one was G Force, and uh, actually it approves. It's surprisingly a Wii game, which generally has a bad reputation with shitty third party and pirated games. But no, it's actually good. And it's based off of a terrible movie. How weird. It's 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 really fucking wild how oh, like, this shitty Wii game is way better than the actual game that released in theaters. My comments is uh hamsters. I mean guinea pigs the anime. Yeah, okay, Katie for the record, Katie. even the story of the game is way better than the movie because it's more believable. Like, there's FBI people, True. like, shooting and electronics coming to life in office buildings and attacking humans. When in the movie, it was like, mm, I am a mold and I make coffee makers come alive in a giant Galossus fucking appliance. That, that movie sucked. Yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's true that... Why, I wonder why they... I guess they had, like, the precognizance when they were making the games. Like, well... The movie was pretty shitty. Let's make it a little more reasonable. Well, it was like nobody's making believable. the game, right? So maybe they were like, this is going on our resume. And unlike most people, they tried their hardest to make something that nobody would recognize. Which, let's be honest, nobody fucking knows what that game is. Nobody would recognize it. And they still made it good. When most of the time, a AAA company will get assigned a movie title and they'll just shit on it. Because they get paid either way. <laughs> <laughs> very, very true. Dude, he says, dude, if I were a game dev assigned to make a shitty movie, my, or game for a shitty movie, my ass is still on the line and I got to put food on the table. That's true, but like, think of how many terrible third-party games were released on the Wii and even the Game Boy Advance and in the GameCube where they're just selling out. Like, you just slap Casper the Ghost on it and, and it sells and you, and you make money. You got paid and they don't even say anything. I guess it might be dis different with Disney, but there's a lot of terrible Disney games that were turned into movies. <laughs> or, I think it's backwards. <laughs> Alright, well, you know, why not? For just a little bit, you guys want to switch to G-Force, or do you want to play something else? G-Force. Yeah, I'm not for G-Force. 
All right, let's do it. Okay. Shitty management, truly, and a lot of carelessness. Yeah, very true. Oh my god, I'm slouching. Wait, too much. I gotta sit up. My doctor's gonna be mad at me. Guys, I uh, you want you guys <laughs> want to do a uh, a very uninteresting box opening? You know, you know how I do. <laughs> this little box opening. Okay, I'll be oh, right back. I love <laughs> those boxes. Oh opening. my god, are we really doing an unbox opening? If you're wondering if it's something exciting, it isn't. Oh, hey guys, welcome back to our unboxing video. Why oh, yeah. yeah. that sound in Ocarina of Time? iPhone, iPhone 13, 13 giant ass tablet. This offhand says, uh, unrealistic deadlines equal shitty games. Uh, You're really much right. And unrealistic deadlines. I think it was both that people could get away with it and also, or maybe both. But the, the, the people would be like, hey, get this uh, game out before the movie releases in like a few months. And people had no respect for game design. Like now, video games are a well-respected community of people, but back then, you know, people looked at gamers as, uh, you remember all those news articles about gamers are violent, gamers are degenerates and shit, but, but it's like, yeah. now, you look at, like, you look at the Johnny Depp lawsuit, the dude who was a gamer was the only guy who appeared normal as all of those fucking witnesses. Damn. <laughs> That's me. Okay, guys, you might think, Rat, what are you fucking opening? Is this interesting at all? I don't know, maybe. Oh, I know what that is. <laughs> this is my back brace because my doctor said I'm going to get scoliosis in three years if I don't start standing up straight. <laughs> so you got a back brace. Yes, here's my back it, brace. Uh, uh, isn't it also called a posture corrector or something? That's what it was called on Amazon, yeah. Yeah, posture What the hell? How does this go on? Uh, okay, so there's like, there should be like some thing, uh, straps that go over your shoulders, and it will also, a strap that goes across your chest. This? Hold on, hold on, I think I got this, I think I got this. So, I think, I'm assuming this goes on my back. Like this, obviously under my clothes, but, but, uh... What the hell? Wait, is this upside down? This doesn't feel right. I think it's upside down. Yeah, I think it's upside down. <laughs> Hold up, I got this. I got this. By the way, this song is very repetitive, but at first it was kind of a jam. <laughs> Shit, am I breaking it? What is happening? No. Okay, well, what happened? Um, oh, I have to put this back in. Oh shit, guys. I, there's no, I, there's no way I broke it, right? No, oh, it goes through this little band here. I see. I see. You. I don't know why I'm doing this on stream, and there's really no reason I'm doing this right now. Interesting shit, guys. Also, don't worry. also I just want to point out something. On Tuesday, we're playing Earthbound on the 21st. What do you mean? That, Wait, that? The, the, the 21st, man. That I'm turning the big 23. Oh, I forgot your birthday's June 21st. Ah, happy birthday. Oh, shit. Nice. Maz turning 21. I'm kidding, 23. <laughs> 23. <laughs> okay, this feels better, I think. Tizasian says, did you order that from Wish? Because <laughs> it fell because their life's like falling apart like when oh, you my. tried to put it in. Wish. I don't know how to put this out this later. <laughs> <laughs> you're wearing a fucking backpack, dude. All right, well, I'm out of another time. Anyways, uh, we're to be back very soon. Um, I'm gonna stop the stream for a moment so that we can use the bathroom, get a drink, and set up. And we'll be back in like ten minutes. So thanks for joining. Yeah, don't go nowhere. Don't go nowhere. We'll be back. We'll rejoin in about ten minutes. Or you know what? If I was like, oh, why is Earthbound showing? My bad. It's a habit. I click the thumbnail button when I'm done. Uh, there's no thumbnail for this yet. <laughs> um, what was I about to say? You know what? Other streamers do music streams when they're gone. Well, I th I, th I think uh, Twitch can get mad at you for that. So maybe, you know what I mean. But um, I'm talking too much. Let's just end the stream. <laughs> what if what if you like play? What if you played one of Maz's musical creations as the? That's true. Cause like okay, here's the thing. On Twitch, I mean, on the RTK archives YouTube, where we archive our streams and and like high quality and and give it thumbnails and shit. Obviously, I wouldn't archive the music stream, but but I mean, just for people who maybe want to stick around. Like, I don't know. That's too much work. I'll just be back in ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys. Bye.